Hi, uh, welcome to Innovation Electronics. So in this video, I am going to explain Wi-Fi based smart energy meter reading monitoring and power theft detection using wi technology. Okay, so the, the same concept we have developed on video also, but this project totally different from our old project. Okay, I am going now. I am going to explain the component detail. What are the component I used here? So this is a digital energy meter, and this is a microcontroller unit one, and this is a microcontroller unit two. The main component of this project. So I I used two uh, Wi-Fi modem. So this is a ESP8266 Wi-Fi modem. This is also one of the micro uh, Wi-Fi modem ESP8266. I used the same uh, two mic uh, two Node MC model here, and you can find the CT coil. So this is a one CT coil, and this is also one of the CT coil. Okay, fine. So main concept of this project uh, is to detect the power theft. Okay, so this is a nominal load. This is a normal load I used here. So you can find the uh, before that I have to explain basic concept of this project. So in this project, basically uh, find the how much of unit our load consuming and how much of we have to pay the same detail till automatically update to the cloud by using this modem so this is iot modem so this modem is to send the data to the cloud which means user can easily monitor the uh, how much power we are consumed day to day and then how much we have to pay for that okay the same data we can find the same app in live okay fine additionally this project also do power theft detection by using this Wi-Fi communication okay so just to consider this is a nominal load and this is a theft load you can find the power connection so this is the output I am taking here this is the energy meter output I am taking here this this red line come to one CT coil okay you can just to find it closely so this is the output line it's come from one CT coil okay why because we are used one CT coil this CT coil used to find the total power of the load okay which means this CT coil will know the how much current we are taking okay so this CT coil, okay, this power comes to the CT coil and the power same line going to the city, this CT coil also, which means in this project the, we are using two CT coil in order to monitor the how much of power we are consumed, okay. So this power going to the load, this is an nominal load, load is uh, connected here, okay. And then I am what happened, I am also connected this theft load, this theft load what, which connection I connected here, you can find the line. So I just tap here, okay, you can find the line. I just tap here in order to take the theft power, power theft process, okay. I connected I connected this wire, I connected this load to this connection in order to uh, do that power theft. I am also connected one switch also in this connection, okay. Now I am going to simply turn on the system and then you can easily find the output. Okay, fine. Now project is turned on. So this controller will calculate the how much of power we are used here okay how much of power used here the data sent to the this microcontroller you can find the two controller unit a controller unit a controller unit b okay so this controller are, this two controller are communicating through wi-fi so why i am used here this microcontroller calculate the how much of power how much current we are used here this data also sent to the Wi-Fi wi communication by using this microcontroller. This Wi-Fi model sent to the data to the this microcontroller. Okay, so it will automatically sending the data, and then this Wi-Fi model receive the, the data from here, and then this data also feed to the microcontroller. This microcontroller act as a master controller. This controller will calculate input current and output current. Okay, so input current output current is equal. This controller will do nothing. It will just update the data in cloud in order to just monitor the data okay if the if the theft load is connected in bypass to the line what happened this ct coil will find the total current okay why because this ct coil will find the total current this ct coil also find but what happened i am connected power theft here so this this ct coil will give more value more current reading but see this ct coil provide only this load this load current only so in order to find the power theft okay whenever the theft load is connected so this data also controller monitor if the different is come uh, different means if the a data and b data is dif different is zero now there is no power theft if different is come any value power theft is occurring okay so you can uh, show you know i'm show the demo simply turn on the switch okay it will take some time i what happen you can see that data receiving which means power theft found okay 
power thread found so this this uh, relay uh, actually i have to forget one connection that is i have to connect one buzzer i forget it that's relay only turned on you can hear the sound okay so power theft is fine how it possible so we are i am using two ct coil in order to monitor the input power and output power if the input power is equal to the output power there is no power theft if the input power is not equal to output power i we find the power theft in order to update the data okay so thank you for watching if you have any doubt regarding this project kindly contact our office number thank you